All right, this is a top loader transmission. All the innards without the external case. This is the input shaft. This is the main shaft, which extends all the way to here. Now, the power flow in fourth gear on the top loader goes straight through whenever the... Kind of hard to move, but it clicks over that way and engages the two shafts together, spins them as one. Now, in any other gear, first gear, second gear, or third gear, the power flows this way spin well it always spins this so every gear is constantly spinning now a lot of people have misconceptions thinking that when they're younger or when i was younger that you engage gears which is simply not true the gears are always spinning at the different rates that they're always spinning there's oil passages on the counter shaft and oil passages on the main shaft that allow it to constantly mesh and they're angle cut so that they're quieter this is reverse right here and it's straight cut so the power goes this way, goes through here, down this one piece shaft, and engages first gear. And so the input shaft spins 2.73 times for every one time the main shaft spins. Whenever first gear is engaged, like so. Now, whenever you go to shift to second, it goes the opposite direction, and it lets go of first gear and engages second gear. Now these things in the center right here are spinning at the same rate that the main shaft is spinning. So whenever you engage second gear, it forces the main shaft to spin at the same rate, there's teeth right here, at the same rate the second gear is. Now you disengage it, neither first or second are engaged, and if you were to engage third or reverse gear, it will engage with this straight cut gear with a third cog has its own separate shifter and an idler which runs off first gear and so it uses sort of a first gear ratio and it reverses it so this is first gear this is second gear now you come into neutral and then you shift the third gear like so it's a little tight right and so this forces the main shaft to lock at the third gear ratio you go back to neutral. And shift. Well, that's a little too far over. But then when you shift to fourth gear, it runs it as a 1-1. One, one. And this cluster is just along for the ride. So are all the other gears. And in fourth gear, this right here, so it's a good thing that it came apart. This right here, locks the input shaft together with the main shaft, spinning it all as one.